Okay. Base. Okay. There we are. Nice. Let's do this. Cool. So no one is here, but I'm like, you know what? Let's do a stream. And oh, James is here. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not alone. Anyway, um, they gave me a half day at work, so I was like, screw it. Let's have some fun. So I'm going to start a page from the very start. Also, James, how are you doing? But I also tagged you because could you be a sport and spread the word? Okay, let's do it that way. <laughs> Thanks, James. Yeah, it's working perfectly now because no one's here. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm like, I have a room full of people, it will not work. So, in case someone's watching this later, or you know, what up? Um, so, I have a template made for Bang and uh, Clip Studio Paint. And one thing I try to do, I have all my settings down, so it's always the same. So, instead of having to be like, oh, how do I do this? It's literally me kind of going, like, okay. I know for this first panel, I want this. And truthfully, I thought about these three panels next, but I'm like, oh, yeah, let's do this. Um, if you see the script only calls for five panels, I think I'm going to do a little inset here. It's been a minute. I was working on edits. So I think like, like a little image of a flower or something, one of those just adds to the mood. I haven't done one in a while. I'm like, ah. So let's do this. Um, probably up and probably down. So I stole this from Brian Selfries, who stole this from Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns. But it's a way to get stuff to flow into the page. So let's do this. Clip has all these wonderful folders. I never use them. Um, so here's my goal. I want to somehow have you kind of come in here, go here, go here, go here, go here, then there. Actually, then go there and then there. So that's the goal. So something like that. Yeah, it looks normal. <laughs> and yeah, if you're new here or anything, let me know. Hit up the chat because I... I will not ignore y'all, mainly because it is me by myself, so please say something. So... Let's do this. Dun, 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 so the way I do things, I'll write out like the lines. Then it's kind of like when I'm. So the first thing I do is break out the like uh, panels. Then it's break down the lettering. Um, and the reason I do it this way, um, I now know like, Hey, this is how much space I have to work with. And I'm kind of, I'm fine with it. I feel like I'm a little boring with my lettering. And I've seen so many people like they'll do all these crazy, like italicized, like all this stuff. And I'm just like, like, for me, I'm like, it's going to be real special. Like, I don't know. Daughter's wedding to italicize something. I don't know why. I'm just not a big fan of it. And as you can see, too, because it's like, 
it's very quick descriptions when I write a page. Um, more often, it's more like, hey, these are, this is what I'm thinking. These are notes for me for later, is kind of how I view it. Because writer me will be like, this will be amazing. Artist me will get in, and it's like, this is not going to work. So, like I said, I try to boom, boom. Then it'll be my job to lead the eye back down here with a couple ways. Um, I think the rest is up. Oh, got one more word balloon. How's everyone doing on this Friday? Oh, yeah, Tyler's way better than me. Way. But here's a fun fact. I can make a comic without Tyler. Tyler can't. Can Tyler make a comic without others? You're going to clip this. going to get Tyler angry at me. <laughs> no, I will say this. Letters are... They're the unsung heroes. Because if they do their job well, no one talks about them. Which is kind of... That's the goal. But, you know, and just like, ah, I don't care who you are. Everyone deserves recognition and some praise. So it's like, yeah, Kyle Tyler. But it is interesting because, like, I've been reading some Walter Simonson and love his art. I don't, I think it's like, because I've noticed some of this lettering trend. So I'm like, it's got to be like a Walter choice. But there are some of his stuff where I'm like, I don't know why you're doing that, but here we are. Yeah, we'll do. Um, another quick thing. So, so when, when I say lay out a page, like a template, this is one of the things I'm talking about. So this red line is what's known as my bleed. Um, and like I said, since I technically, oops, that's not what I wanted. I technically do a full, I do a full bleed, just not everywhere, just in these like particular moments. So I know everything here and everything here is no man's land. Like, it's going to get cut. So I got to make sure it's like, hey, don't add anything important like letters. Hi. I love how my cat's too old to, like, jump as much, but young enough to scrape my legs. Yes, yes. Ugh. So like I said, I try to make sure I give myself enough room where it's like there's no fear of letters getting cut off. Now comes the next important thing. Saving the page. Hmm. I cannot believe I'm on page I'm on chapter nineteen already. So not only is um, – this is the interesting thing with, like, working on Bang. So I keep pointing with my finger. Oh, wait a minute. Um, come on. Uh -huh. And then, like I said, I actually have tools set up. Um, I used to do Corel. I like this Horace. I found this Horace brew. I call it big. Like, I made one that's called Biggie because it's literally just like, and I have it locked. So it's a nice, like, it's a nice thick line. So, my goal at this point is not. 
it's kind of like okay i know i have a character here's the issue here's where it gets interesting I have a character here. If that character is like this big, I have another character who's taller than him. So this is where it gets. Hi. <laughs> I don't know if you all can see. My cat is in between you all and she's having fun. Or not. Uh, so yeah, that's the. This is kind of where it starts, just playing around, trying to figure out the composition. Hmm. This one's going to be interesting. Here's the other question. I have a tendency to be like, okay, this character's more important, but in this panel, it might be my little dude, Umur. So let's do this. Yeah, this is typically too why. I tried to get like this layer done, but I was like, you know what? I don't know. Someone, someone might find this interesting. How have I been? I've been good. I've been real good. Like I said, um, for whatever reason, work generously gave us a half day. So I'm like, yeah, let's come up here and stream. I just got through layer number two of edits for, um, oh, what's it called? Volume two. So. I should be sending that to the printer in the next couple, like in the next couple week or so, and then get them and go from there. Let's do this. Give me here any minute. Last thing I read, ah, that would be Walter Simonson's Orion from uh, DC, which, <laughs> Elon, let's open up those floodgates. Um, so, at the end of last year, well, Black Friday, I saved some cash, and I was like, you know, there's been like a couple Kirby books I wanted, so let me get some of these Kirby, you know, I've heard good things of this uh, Jack Kirby. No, uh, jokes aside... I was always a fan of his, um, of the demon. I picked that one up. Like, I always loved Etragon. So it's like, oh, he made this. Let me, you know, let me read this. So I picked up the Fourth World Absolute, uh, Absolutes and loved it. Like, God, the only thing I hate about it, one, the Jimmy Olsen stuff, I'm not, still not a fan of that. But two, it's like, it just started cooking. Like, it was like, this is getting good. Like, this is amazing. And they canceled it. So it's fun to see Walter Simonson, who's a big Kirby fan. But, like, space mythology is, like, his bread and butter. So it's fun to see him take those pieces and be like, well, you know, let, what can I do with it? So, yeah, it was a blast. Um, the only thing I'll say with Orion... And it's a little thing. It's two little things. It's, um, yeah, it ended way too quickly. Like, I could have gone on another, like, three or four volumes. But I will say this. It kind of, like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't the worst. It kind of ended in a slump. So it's one of those, I think it was, like, bad to pick back up on a new storyline, but it got canceled. So it's like, okay, you kind of had to wrap it up quickly. And it's like, ah, I'm kind of curious where it would have been. What do I want this character doing? I 
you know, I'm gonna have a bunch of close-ups, so let's let's do this because he's he's kind of a blowhard. Let's make him a blowhard. So I'm trying to find a when I don't have ideas, I'm like, yeah, let me look at some other people's works and trying to find something and not good action shots. Oh, let's see. What's the last thing you all have read? But yeah, um, the other thing with Walter Simonson, his storytelling, especially like his panel, like just his layouts and stuff, I'm like, man, this is amazing. Okay, that's something. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Let's do this. One way or another. It's probably going to have that. Probably going to have that, okay? Let's have her... So the irony is, it's like, ah, it doesn't look like he's doing anything. I'm actually now starting to cook with some gas. Yeah, I'll do. Um, currently reading through the question. Yeah, like, everyone's been raving about the question. And it was one of those, like, I think this one got me. I'm not a big... Um, Watchmen fan. Like, I had to learn about, so I went to uh, the University of, or I went to Savannah College of Art and Design, aka SCAD, and I'm not even joking, which is kind of, it was kind of dumb, but here we are. Um, I had a history of comics, and one of those things was Watchmen, so like, before I got to read Watchmen, I knew like all the big twists and turns, so it's kind of like, and I don't know if it's just that, I'm not a big fan, like, because I feel like with uh, Watchmen, it's always like everyone's like, ah, oh, you know, you got to read all this, got to do all this, blah, blah, blah. So when I heard like, oh, yeah, Rorschach was or the question was supposed to be or no, Rorschach was supposed to be the question. You know, I'm like, yeah, I know about this kind of turned me off. But everyone's been raving about this, including Bunk. And man. Part of me is like, ooh, especially. I will say this, two volumes is crime novel, like crime. I'm like, ooh, it's getting tempting. There we go. Yeah. Draw this fat ass. So, I'm like, man, I could populate this world with fantastic creatures, or I could just draw a dinosaur, and I went with dinosaur. Sell you on Oh My Goddess. Um, hey, Elon, first question. Have you read, have you ever watched... Uh, Tenchi, Muyo, Tenchi Universe, any of those. Because it will make selling this a lot easier. Yeah, I need to read more Swamp Thing because I read that Alan Moore one. It was good. I do, I'll put it this way. I do enjoy some Alan Moore. I just think like, okay, cool. No, no, you're good. You're good, Elon. Because it's one of those that would be, I got you. Um, I feel like my thing with Alan Moore, I think he's amazing. I do feel like people hype him up to a point where it's like, it's kind of in some ways impossible to enjoy the work. Cause it's like, it's like, Oh my gosh, 
this man has reinvented life. And it's like, well, let's calm down here. Okay. So, oh my God. What is oh my God? It is a rom-com um, manga. It's like, hmm. You know, especially, usually I'm recommending like Berserk, uh, Blade the Mortal, Violence. So it's like, okay, well, what, what do you mean rom-com? It's like, this is 100% rom-com. Uh, what's great about, what's great about, oh my God, is this loser in the, I want to say in the uh, motor club in college, dials the wrong number and ends up calling the goddess hotline. And this uh, goddess comes out of the mirror named Baldandy, and he gets one wish. Without think of it, his wish is I want to be, I want to have you around forever. I want to be around you forever. So it's this weird, they're dating. Like she's in love with him. They're both dating, but they're both like terrible at this. Um, but where it starts off with the harem, because then like once it starts, it feels like it's just about to get stale, where you're like, Yeah, I don't know about this. They introduce like this uh her sister Erd, and then they introduce her his other sister Scold. So here's the thing. I can describe this in great detail. It will sound boring as hell. But the cool thing about this is it's the characters. It's the comedy behind it. So it's one of those. I had like a, one of my best friends. He bought, he used to own like all the uh, original Tonka Mons, except for 44. I'm still in the hunt for him for that. Um, but I bought like the first eight or so and I fell in love with it. But then, you know, time got tough. Money got tough. So when I found out about these omnibuses, these collection editions, like they are so nice. Like I prefer the deluxe uh, hardcovers of manga, but that said, it's like these paperbacks are a like close second. Like these are really good. So if you like romance comedy, and it's like it's very, it's tongue in cheek, and I don't even say like there's fan service. Like the fan service is so minimal. Like. It's nothing compared to a lot of stuff because it was made in the 80s. But some gorgeous art, especially because um, the guy really just wanted to tell a story about motorcycles. And their editor's like, hey, you got to do something more than motorcycles. And he's like, fine, I'll put in goddesses. Um, what's crazy is all the goddesses are 100% like pseudo-angel, uh, you know, kind of that Christianity kind of thing. But everything's named off of Norse mythology. So it's this weird mix of like, huh. Oh, yeah, if you love motorcycles, like, the main character, it's a motorcycle club, so it's, like, there's a ton, like, I will say this, there is fan service, not of women, but of motorcycles, <laughs> like, a thousand percent. That'll do. So I literally looked up a reference of Danny DeVito from uh, It's Always Sunny. But yeah, it's one of those the hard thing was too, cause it's like those all are nice. Cause they collect three and one. So it's like, it's a little easier than trying to track down the old versions. They're printed not like bigger, clear pages. So it's like hundred percent. And er, like Omar's got a crush on Belle Dandy, which she's not, she's not bad, but the correct answer is Erd. Um, oh, and I brought up Tenchi Muyo. Cause if you've seen Tenchi Muyo, it's like Tenchi literally just, verbatim almost like like looked over at oh my goddess and was like oh that's the answer you know what he would do this Yeah, okay, that's what he would do. He would definitely do that. Uh, 
<laughs> um, yeah. so this character has a uh, staff with a bird on it. Why? I don't know. Just like it was one of those like this is a cool choice. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, uh, Elon! This this month is going to kill me. Um, one, I'm going to Alaska, so it's like the smart thing to do would be like, "Hey, I'm not going to spend money." But here's the problem: so I got um, Berserk on Blu-ray. I'm like, "Yeah, I want to get that." I got Oh My Goddess. I need to get. I got rid of my Spy vs. Spy paperbacks. So I'm like, I need to replace that with the hardcover. Um, God, then it's like, I want to get more Savage Dragon because I'm, I'm in that now. Uh, oh, the number, the thing that kind of, I was on budget, I'm like, cool, I should be cool. Then, um, Mark Silvestri is like, hey, what if we drop the, um, what's it called? The Darkness Kickstarter. It's like, ah, I did not need that this month. So on top of that, um. Yeah, then it's like next month, Savage Short from Titan Drop. So it's like, ah, ah I'm not monetized. Fuck me. And this is not for children. It's like, fuck me. Because the problem is when you collect big, you know, back in the day, it's like, man, I got five $20 books. Oof, that's kind of rough. Now it's like $100 books. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Long story short, don't buy books. Unless it's mine. <laughs> oh, I could do that. So let's do this. Okay, here we go. So something like that, okay. So I think this is my plan, y'all. Because I got three characters, like, all different sizes. So, just, let's just draw a good old hand to indicate. Whew. Yeah, it's a little big for that hand, even for him. Anyway, um, yeah, no, his, you know, and I love to give Omar shit because I even told him last night, I'm like, enjoy your dolls. Um, I will say this with Omar. It's like he takes care of his kids. He takes care of his wife. You know, he, professionally, I don't think anyone's upset with him. And so it's like, in my mind, I'm like, it's, is that toy collection insane? Absolutely. Is it the kind of thing it's like good for him? Good for him, you know. Like, eh, if that's his joy. Because the other question is, too, it's like, I have a feeling, because when they talk about, like, Cracker Barrel and stuff, like, oh, yeah, he ain't spending on food. I don't know. Like I said, it's like, he seems to be doing everything right as an adult, so it's like, good on you. But, yeah, it's like, holy fuck, that's a lot of toys. I'm just shocked how big that, I guess the other thing is, I'm shocked how big that basement is. Because the other crazy thing is, like, there's clearly a version of Omar, like, who went into, like, toy, like, his channel's on toy collecting, and comics are his, like, you know, he's like, ah, 
I don't want to talk about I don't want to talk about comics because that's where I go to relax. Ah, uh, Omar. I will say this. I feel like with Omar, he's like the only guy, he's one of the few guys I know that's like, he will take, he'll give a, he'll give shit back. Don't get me wrong. He'll take shit though. And then like, I don't know. It's like, he takes a lot of shit and he gives, he gives out a lot. He's a good guy. He's good people. Omar does have a crush on every female character. Okay, here's a question, y'all. Who are some of your who are some of your cartoon crushes back in the day? And I'm talking like like um like little kid, like still when a crush was kind of innocent. Cause it's like I had a couple. Um gosh, you know her name. The girl from the Scooby-Doo Ghoul School, the vampire. That one, like, I don't know, that one hit me like a sledgehammer. I was like, holy shit. And I think it was just I thought she was like the definition of cool back then. Like it was so dumb. Like even looking at it today, I'm like, God, I was a dumb kid. But I can train. Oh yeah. Ugh. Makes sense. Okay. She's you know, you would think I know how to draw a pair of legs standing, but not so much. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm right. I'm right. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh. Lizzie McGuire. Interesting. I used to watch that show. Like, it wasn't my favorite, but it was definitely one of those. It's like, ah, it's better than Sister Sister. Um, Lizzie McGuire. That's, you know, um, Kalisha explains it all. That was another one I had a crush on. Oh my gosh. Clarissa. Because, yeah, once again, it's like, I thought she was cute. Because, yeah, it's like I thought she was cute, but I also just thought she was, like, so cool. Especially, I think we all wanted her room. Oh, man. I can say this. Everyone wanted Hey Arnold's room. Like, that was, that was like, the best room ever. Lizzie McGuire, that's interesting. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, where are you? There you are. Lizzie McGuire, man. Because there was, like, even Stevens. Like, it's crazy how many shows just kind of, like, go away. Like, I don't know. 
it's probably on Disney Plus, but it's like how many people are looking up um, Lizzie McGuire? Uh, okay, so I'm trying to look up reference. This is where it gets fun. Trying to look up reference. There it is. I don't want to say it out loud because it's like it's two things. One, I'll get judged uh, uh, up and down the board, but also more importantly, it would give up this like a story beat. So I'm like, okay, I gotta be quiet. So then it's <laughs> there's something weird about like I don't know Alicia my teenage years had okay, I gotta look this one up. Fortunately for me looking this up, I gotta take that down. Okay. Um Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Elon. Have you seen the uh the girl next door? Please tell me you've seen that movie. Oh, please tell me you've seen the girl next door. Oh, come on. Come on, Elon. I'm going to act like you have, because, man, that movie, that movie was a lot of, like, I love that movie, because it's, it's raunchy, it's funny, but also, it does have a lot of heart, and it's like, I feel like, I don't know, the subject matter, the title, all that, but it's like, a lot of people are like, yeah, and it's like, oh, come on. Oh, fantastic. Especially uh, uh, Timothy, the guy who plays the sleazy producer. Is she worth the squeeze? Interesting. Oh, your trip is hilarious. Like, I didn't like, I saw your trip before I saw Road Trip. So, you know, people are talking about Road Trip. I'm like, this is a less funny version of your trip. Oh, man. But that movie was, I need to rewatch that movie. 
just so many things about it was brilliant. I do miss like, and I hate that comedies, we don't get as many comedies. And it's like a lot of people love to blame, you know, a culture like the young, young folks don't, you know, can't do anything funny. I don't even think it's that. I think you got to be like a little bit more witty nowadays. But there's some like, you know, especially like you show some people with some older stuff. It's like they're always surprised. Like, oh, I didn't realize it was this good. It's like, yeah, I think it's more studios are like, hmm. Or we could, they want that billion dollar buyout. And it's like, y'all, come on. Like, not everything can be end game. Like, give me some raunchy comedies. What I mean. Oh man, you're tr what's um? There were a lot of great comedies like in the 2000s, which is crazy because it's like I remember at the time like ah oh, these are okay. I don't know how well they'll age, and it's like man, they age like wine. Especially, I still listen to uh, Scotty doesn't know like that song is hilarious slash terrible. That's a pretty one. That wouldn't be bad. Yeah, because, um, oh my gosh. That was such a good twist, too, with uh, The Girl Next Door, because all of a sudden you're like, because it's like, I can't believe they're doing this. And it's like, oh, actually, that makes a lot more sense. And that is that is brilliant, because it's like, you know, everyone's got to learn sex ed. And it's like, God, that's brilliant. <laughs> you know what's crazy, too? Oh, I wish Bar was here. Because Bar is like, Bar I use for my young it's like ah what's it like to be young um okay because like the sleazy producers clearly based off of hugh hefner like it's almost just like a character at that point so i'm just kind of curious if younger people it's like do you recognize who that's based off of? you know it's like do you recognize who that's supposed to be because i remember watching old looney tunes and like i was like who is this you know my parents are like oh that's the honeymooners or blah 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 you know it's like that's based off of this or that How to do this panel? How to do this panel? Actually, I'll keep that. Let me do this. So the cool thing with digital, like, no one talks. Like... <laughs> yeah, I doubt even. Yeah, yeah, because I feel... That's a good point. Like, 
I mean, smoking jackets were popular way before Hugh Hefner, but he definitely that became kind of his look. God, like, I wonder, like, if there's a decrease of like, um, Playboy's popularity in smoking jacket sales. That's a weird one. Yeah, I should probably just pull out. Oh, so, um, Dorson, I actually, um, now you can go back and rewatch the beginning of the stream, but the way I do it, um, I do panel layouts first, then I do text, then I do imagery. And I'm already liking that one better. Uh, so yeah. So yeah, the reason I like to do text first. Um, so like, I know this is important. Well, it's a couple things. Hey, let me, um, let me do this. That's not a good example. That's a good example. So I'm kind of a weirdo. Um, I draw everything. So this is the, like, if you do traditional, typically the idea was like, you'd get like, you'd hide, you know, you wouldn't put anything behind here because it was traditional. Um, the reason I do this, one, I am notoriously terrible at like spelling grammar and all that. So it's like, I constantly have to edit this because uh, I'm actually just, I have some brilliant friends. I love them. They're going through and rereading, double check all my spelling. But the other hope is like, if I get this translated in a different language, it's like, okay, I have all this room and space. It's like, cool. Uh, we can work from there. No, I don't see uh, Bang ever breaking the fourth wall, mainly because, how to put it? I like to have Bang to have like some lighter, softer moments, some comedy moments, but I feel like breaking the fourth wall is a sort of like a sitcom-y, like it's a certain kind of comedy because it's like they're in on the joke as well. And it's like, especially because it's like, I want the audience to have more information than Bang. Um, well, because it's like the audience, if you've been reading Bang, especially because it's in the first volume, the audience knows what happened to Eddie? What the magic thing is in Eddie? Bang and Yashmir have no idea what that was. Like, they still are like, uh, kid went in the cave, not having magic. It seemed like, kid seemed normal. Kid came out not seeming normal. So, because I feel like, I feel like the problem with the breaking the fourth wall, some things it makes sense. Some things it's like, it's kind of brilliant. I feel like, though, it's an easy drug where it's like, you know, ah, let me show you how creative I am. It's like, yeah, please don't. Because sometimes it's like, I don't know, it can be done well, but I've seen it more often times than not. I kind of just feel like it's a little bit of eye rolling, like, yeah, okay. Because, yeah, that's the other thing. Like, um, it's a fantasy, you know, and we go, I go to some crazy places and I got some ideas for even crazier places. But, end of the day, too, it's a serious story. Yeah, it's a little too close. But, according to Yield Face, that's the correct way.
Because I feel like, um, I mean, there's Deadpool, but I would say like a classic one that I feel like something like Who Framed Roger Rabbit, like that makes sense for something to break the fourth wall. I really turn off my camera because you know, I'm not going to say what this is. Okay. Yeah, I think I wanted to do a different hairstyle with that. And I get it's like I said, if it's the right genre and the right person's doing it, it's like it can be brilliant. Um, I do think that's that's always one of the challenge is knowing what character design to say into. Yeah, and I feel like, like I said, I feel like like breaking the fourth wall is better. Like, um, actually, you know who the best at breaking the fourth wall is? Is Chuck Jones. But Chuck Jones does it like I'm doing now. He'll look at the camera, like his character will just look at the camera like. Like the Grinch, he does in the Grinch where it's that moment where it's just like, uh, okay. Like that's the, I think that's the best breaking of the fourth wall, like in my mind. Favorite character? Well, that's an interesting question. Um, still, my favorite probably is Bang. Like, it it, it kind of depends. Eddie's a pain in the ass to draw, but Eddie moves the story along further than the other two ever could. Um, Yashmin, Yashmin's fun. I don't, it kind of depends too, because it depends on the panel. Because sometimes it's like drawing an action page can either sometimes it's fun there's always this weird moment where it's like ah this is a lot of fun a couple hours later it's like this is no longer fun um of course i think the other thing you get into because it's like i enjoy all these characters like i've been loving the harpies i'm not gonna lie though i am ready to not draw a bunch of women on birds i'm like oh um so it's kind of hard because i feel like overall I feel like it's when I get to draw something for a bit. It's when it's like, and I don't want it to sound like it's a slog, like, ah, oh, you know, I wanted to draw this page. Like, I was excited to start working on this page. It's more it gets difficult when it's like, okay, like, like with the goblins. I miss drawing those little furry creatures, but man, you know, when you're drawing, like, I think I drew like, like close to 300 in one chapter. I was like, I am so ready to draw something else. I might just do a graphic for that. Oh, you know what I should do, though? I know. Ooh, I know what I should do. This is the other thing I like about digital. I, like, I feel like no one talks about. Because, yeah, it's like the undo button's nice. But the fact that you can just kind of like copy, pay, you know, because I will copy stuff like this where it's like, oh, I'm done with this. And it's like, oh, wait a minute.
Let's do this. Okay. Let's do this because I'm thinking of that panel. Let's just work on that panel. <sighs> um, so when I switched, you know, let me give me one second. <laughs> one second. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. I'll share some of that though, even though that's not what I want. Share more of this stuff. Okay. That. Ah, here we go. Ugh. Hi, y'all. So, I used to have a comic strip called Scotty Odyssey. I guess let me do it this way. Yeah. This will make sense in a second. So, um, with Scotty, I noticed, I think it was with um, the comic strip I did called uh, The Horrific Adventures of Frankie. But I start what I started doing, like, I hated drawing up uh, panel borders. So I was like, all right, let me do that digitally. Then I was like, I printed it, like I printed it out and would draw, you know, pencil and all that. Then I was like, then I did this. I was like, okay. Um, like I knew I was going to digitally letter this, but let me draw the balloon. So I'd print that, do that. Then it was like, okay, let me do the pencils and um print. Print out the pencils and ink them. So this is like one of the, this is like the first. I, I miss this strip. I want to get back to this. It was um. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's basically Johnny Quest meets Calvin and Hobbes. I would say like a newer Johnny Quest. But then it was the kind of thing. <laughs> Probably some of my best lettering. Um, so, like, Scotty went on, like, the Avengers got bigger and bigger, and it was the kind of thing I was, I was doing everything but the um, inking digitally. So it's kind of like, wait a minute. If I'm doing all this, why not just do that one extra step? And, you know, do it all digitally. And it's it was scary at first, but yeah, it's like I got a lot more control. And the nice thing is too, it's like I don't have to worry about ink. Um, so this is oh man, this is the adventures of Frankie. I need a I had so many people are pissed that I stopped this strip. Like they loved it. It was a Frankenstein bouncer at a strip club. There's a lot of heart because it's like never I don't think I ever will admit I did this character dirty. That backstory behind her. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. But Frankie 
Frankie was a fun character, especially because, like, I don't know if he could... He had a lead pipe that was called Plan B. You can actually see it right there. This was, like, this was my indie book. The problem is, I thought about rebooting this because I had a lot of fun with it. But the problem with Frankie is this was made by a 20-year-old. For better or for worse. Like, I can see the worst, but it's also, like, the energy and stuff. I'm like, it's hard to repeat as an adult. Like, if that makes sense. It's like, you know, that version of Josh no longer is around. Oh, yeah. So I had a, character, I had a friend named Robin. Um, I don't know why she joked about this. But I made a witch <laughs> that used her magic powers to increase her breast size. So, ugh. So yeah, it was the kind of thing. Um, I used to be very. I learned how to do everything traditionally, but then it just got to the point where it's like, well, well, and especially with Abby. But like, um, I couldn't do. Where's Abby? One more second. Okay. Yeah, just wanted to make sure. Um. No, it's the kind of thing, though. Scotty could grow. No, no, Scotty. Scotty, I could do. It's um, Frankie. Frankie was the one. Scotty, I did. The problem. My only problem with Scotty was I put a lot of hype behind it. Like, I thought it would take off. A lot of expectations behind it. So when it didn't, that one kind of hurt. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, so we saw this. <laughs> uh, I love when I goof. Oh, okay. Break down which mouse is the right mouse. Nothing like having a technical issue that hopefully no one notices, like now. Okay, which one's the correct? You are the correct. Cool. Okay. Oh, could I? I technically could be professional right now, couldn't I? Share screen. Yeah, share screen. Share screen. Boom, boom. Aha. So anyway, um, sorry, my screen went out. Shut up, James. <laughs> my, um, I'm technically sharing like the same screen. So all of a sudden my laptop went off. So I'm like, I can't read the chat. No, Scotty. The problem with Scotty is because I'm working on Professional, which I do love that book. And I'm working on Bang. So it's like, there's only so many hours in the day. So it's like, I kind of had to stop Scotty. Um, no, it's um Frankie's the one, especially I don't know, the whole shrimp club thing. It's like I don't know if that's like if that's still a good setting as it used to be. Who knows? Especially because I set up Scotty in the middle of a storyline, which was like, womp womp. I think that's what makes it hard, too, to go back, because it's like, it's like, ugh. It's like, do I go back and start, like, because I have some pages that are penciled, you know, it's like, I. But yeah, the other nice thing with digital, man, because I have like binders of these old um, pages. Because yeah, like, ooh, 11 by 17, it's like, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I don't know if you all can see this or not. 
that's um very old school, like very old unprofessionals. Oh my gosh. Oh god. <laughs> oh man, that's bad. Oof, look at that. Oof. Oh, man. Da -da. Too small, too small, Torsen. Eh, fine. Okay, yeah. That's like their old design from Unprofessional. I mean, like, because Borka doesn't even have that bracelet anymore. He's got more of the beads. Oh my gosh. This is really old because he doesn't even have the striped pants anymore. Like, because, yeah, it's like, whoo. And Vic only has two earrings. Look at that. Vic only has two earrings. Wow, this is real old. 2011. I knew these characters were old. Wow. Yeah, because that was uh, watercolors, which. Yeah, so I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I inked this and then printed out the uh, blacks on this and watercolor. Wow, that is. I feel like this is a trip for me, not for anyone else. Like, everyone else is just kind of like, hey, whatever, old man. Twelve years ago, 2011. That was 13 years ago. Like I said, and I've talked to my patrons about this. Um, the hard thing with Unpro, it's like I wrote that book so long ago. You know, it's like it's a fun story. I'm, it's just kind of like I've I've changed as a person, so I'm like I cannot wait to get into like some newer stuff. I got so many ideas because I still want to do that Eldrick uh, horror one. Long story short, if you enjoy my ramblings, please join me over at Patreon. Yeah. I cannot believe, yeah. It's crazy how how quickly time goes sometimes because it's like I didn't think they I knew they were older. I didn't well, I guess I'll put it this way. I didn't know that version of them. Yeah, that makes sense because that's between so at one point, long time ago, I was looking at making them more of a, uh, like a Hanna Barbera cartoon, like bounty hunters in space, like definitely more uh, like pseudo kid friendly and all that jazz. But definitely like, and I think that's where like some some of um, Bang was that unused idea. So with Bang, it's like cool, you know. Let's use these flat colors like you originally planned on it. Blah blah blah. Um. But yeah, so it's it's crazy going back and seeing like, oh man, those ideas. What am I trying to do with your mouth? Ah, uh, that's the other, like, 
because everyone's talking about you know AI. It's like oh, I can do this and that, and it's like there's something crazy about like going back to an old piece where you're like, I thought this was the height of art. Yeah, because this is all oh, me. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh. Sorry. Okay. Hi again. So, this is an old page from uh, Frankie, The Horrific Adventures of Bone. Uh, yeah, Frankie. But what's crazy is. Like, this is me 100% analog. You can tell because, like, look how crappy the uh, panels are. Because, like, these little nubbins, like, I would go back digitally and erase them. Because, yeah, like, some of them weren't even connected, like, if you see on the bottom. That's crazy. Ugh. Not, like, I, I don't know. Everyone kind of praises analog a little too much at times. It's like, it's good. I think you should learn how to do it, but man, it's not the end all. So let's see. Bing Arch. This is the only interest. This is interesting. Huh. So via StreamYard, you can't tell me people are watching it, looks like. Oh, no, there it is. Three. And I've been on for an hour and 12 minutes. Interesting. Learning things. Mm -hmm. but yeah i think i don't know it's crazy because a lot of people you know like ai ai and it's like there's something about the human because if i told you of all the random reference i looked up while chatting with you all just on this page, like, there's no way, like, I don't even know how you would type all that into, like, you know, a, a like, even per panel, it's like, that's a lot. Mm. Phone. Oh, man. How's everyone weekend going? Any... What are you most excited about this weekend? Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm excited about, like, getting X amount of this page done a little early tonight and being able to, like, play some video games, read some comics. God, I've been loving Tomb Raider Remastered, which I'm like, did not expect. Like, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know if I should buy this. Hopefully I'll enjoy it. Like, man, I have gotten farther than I ever have. Haven't made any plans yet. Dorson, you're like the richest man in the world over there. Shouldn't you have a small empire? The world's your oyster, but you also have kids, so you know. <laughs> no, I think it's interesting how many, like, weekends, man, they go by way too quickly. Now, I do hear that. Chilling is just nice. Like like I said, having a good book, especially because um, I'm going to read the new Savage uh, Conan tonight, and then I think it's going to start jumping into um, Fantastic Four. Okay. Now, usually I'd have said character design out and just be like, ah, but I don't want y'all to see this. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, they suck the life out of you now, but there's going to come a day you're going to be like, ah, I miss them at this age. 
God, something that screwed with me. Uh, someone mentioned it's like there's a time where like you and your friends went out to play, and you didn't realize it was like the last time you do that. Because I remember like walking through, uh, I think it was Walmart or Target, but I saw some camping equipment, and the same kind of thought popped in my head. I'm like, yeah, there was a time like me and my dad went camping for the last time, and you know it's been years, but it's like I didn't realize it was going to be the last time. Mm. What the? Also, not nothing like having a whole Pinterest board just for different shadows for moments like this. <laughs> so, what would be a good shadow? That one I dig. There we go. No, I get it, because it's like, uh, some of my friends, like, their kids are starting to... The problem is, too, their kids are starting to get from that, like, oh, you're a cute little potato, or oh, you're adorable, to like, ah, oh, uh, you, you got energy, and you're starting to be annoying. Especially because, like, there's a group of people I knew, I wouldn't, I never called them friends, you know, they were friends of friends. Um, but they had a little girl who they're like, oh, she can hang out with the adults, and it was... Man, it was weird because it's like I could tell the child was weird because I'm like, yeah, you're not used to interacting with people your age, so you're weird. And it's I have to deal with you, but you're not intelligent enough to be a child, like to have an adult. And she wasn't even like interested. I don't know. She was just weird. So long story short. Yeah, kids. <laughs> Doors not gonna be honest with you. Probably not. Mainly because I don't have any interest in the Oscars. So it's like, at best, I feel like I'm just gonna be snarky. And I do feel like, I don't know, I feel like snarky me. I've been trying to be a little less snarky. So, yeah, I think I'm going to drunge in the dragons. I will say this though any other, any other movie club, movie club would win. It's just the Oscars. I'm like, ah, oh, right. Because, man, poor things. Is that the uh, quote-unquote not porn? <laughs> no. There's a couple, like, I still need to see uh, D, D equals evil. <laughs> Don't make me feel guilty. Besides, you can enjoy me now.
So I was such a romantic back in the day. I kind of taught myself how, like, they're not great, but I taught myself kind of how to draw, like, a rose, like a generic rose when needed. Is it, okay, Dorson, is it not porn in the sense of HBO is not porn? <laughs> Also, like, God, I got new neighbors who have kids. Part of me is like, I'm pretty sure, like, my my other neighbors were kind of sketchy. Like, they would always blast music, but they were pretty cool. So ones with kids, I'm like, they're not doing anything wrong, but I can hear those kids, like, like not like, um, oh, something's going on. Like, oh, there's abuse screaming. Just like, God, they're loud for no reason. Man, my last neighbors, they moved out, forgot some shit, broke back into their place to get, like, X amount, but they left, like, a ton of shit. But they literally took, like, a crowbar to it, and it's like, huh. Well, now you're not selling me on poor things. No, I definitely, because uh, I've been meaning to watch, like, um, the Bass Reeves from um, Paramount Plus. Like, there's a couple things I've been meaning to watch. Um, I've fallen, like, there's this streamer. I've shared it, Liz. She's been a lot of fun. Then, you know, you start watching, like, various streamers. Next thing I know, it's like, oh, it's one in the morning. Now, here's the real question. Said not porn that you guys are trying to get me to watch. Is it in English or another language? Well, it can't be good if it's in English. The zone of interest. <laughs> I still need to see Parasite from last year. Come on, headphone. <laughs> His reward hanging. His great big hang up. Ugh. So, because I'm out here just drawing and randomly, I don't know how I feel about Dune Part 2. Like, I know I'll watch it, but it's the kind of thing I'm like, ah, am I going to wait till it's on streaming or will I go see it in the big screen? Um, like Dune Part One, it wasn't bad, but at the same time, like I have no, I'm not like the desire to go watch it isn't that strong. So part of me is like, eh, how good or bad is uh Dune? You know, Dune Part Two. Also, I heard this was like Part Two out of Three. I thought it was originally supposed to be like a two parter. Because, like, I won't lie, the old one, it's che it's cheesy. <laughs> like, I'm not going to be like, this is a work of art. I don't know, Dune, Dune is one of those, like, a lot of people have taken a lot from Dune. And it's like, does this work better as a movie? Or as a uh, book than a movie? Only subtitle movies are Zone of Interest, German, Past Lives, some Korean, Anatomy of the Fallen, some French, Killer of the Flower Moon, some Native Tongue, I think he meant Native American there, and plenty of reading while watching those. <coughs> that was an odd one. Killer of the Flower Moon, I don't know, after um, The Irishman, Scorsese's like five-hour epics, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of good. 
God, the Irishman. The Irishman I didn't think was that good. I feel like everyone loves to praise that. I don't know. It's like I could have watched Goodfellas or Casino and had a better time. It is weird, though. It does feel like... I feel like everything was better than The Irishman. Because uh, I do know with uh, Killer of the uh, the Moon, or Killer of the Flower Moon, whatever, that was based off of a book, too. So it's like, that prop. Well, of course, so was The Irishman, now that I think about it. Of course, I don't think with The Irishman, they were like, look at this great technology. We can make this 80-year-old man look 30. And it's like, sure. But he still moves like he's an 80-year-old man. You know what? Maybe just the fact that it's... um. It's not just him doing another gangster movie. Because, like... And don't get me wrong, like, I think Scorsese has made some of the best ones. But, you know, it's kind of like, it's good to sometimes venture out and try new things. And it's like, because I feel like with The Irishman, it's like, it was a safe, tr it's like, I wasn't surprised that this was a Scorsese movie. I'll put it that way. It's like, yep. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I don't know why you guys are bullying me into watching movies. That's cr Ugh. I can't believe well, I shouldn't be too surprised. Where did that go? Ugh. Ugh. So I, I guess here's my question: Is um, like Killers of the Flower that good, or is it the kind of thing it's like, yeah, we didn't give Scorsese an Oscar for some of his other movies, so let's make it up now. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't realize though it was based off of like uh, an actual like event like that because I I actually don't know much about that book now that, or uh, about that movie now that I think about it. Time to draw something I don't draw that often. Yeah, better than Oppenheimer. Wow. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer feels weird to me because in some ways it feels like, I don't know, it's praising the dude who made it. Hmm. All right, you guys, you have me intrigued. I'll put it that way. And I'm not saying, like, he needs... It's kind of weird, because it's like... Not with history needs to be, like... You know, I don't need him, like, twirling mustache. But it's the kind of thing... I don't know, Oppenheimer just... It's one of those movies I'll probably watch one day, but I'm like, I don't know if this is, like, summer blockbuster go see in theater. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just like, eh. Oh. <laughs> I miss when movies were 90 minutes. I got shit to do. Three point five man, especially 
Well, granted, with streaming, you can pause it, but it's like give give us an intermission at that point. Let us know, like, hey, uh, if you're watching this, this is a good time to go do something else. I guess the other thing is, because, like, I mean, one, and I'm trying, like, I'm not trying to just be negative. Outside of, like, Dune, there's not a lot of movies that are coming out that I'm, like, woo, like, excited about. But I think part of the problem is, too, it's, like, man, ticket prices are just so high, too. Because, yeah, I'm behind on Demon Slayer, but uh, let's see, Demon Slayer, Wonka, Land of Bad? I don't even know what that is. Anatomy of the Fallen. I think you all were talking about that. Let's see what's coming soon. Like Ghostbusters, I should be excited about, but I'm like, eh. Okay. Imaginary. F that film. Um, YouTube like made me watch a trailer for it, and man, like... That was like, dude, I felt violated. And it was only like a 20 second commercial. But it was one of these, it's like, I didn't agree to this imagery. Um, Kung Fu Panda 4. I should be excited for that because I love the other ones. Godzilla uh, Kong. Like, yeah, it feels like I can wait for that one. The first omen. Oh, boy. Oh, Matrix 25. Yeah, the 25th year. Oh, my gosh. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I'm kind of... Okay, that one I'm a little bit more excited about. Furiosa. Like Furiosa, yeah. I don't think it did the job. Uh, Furi like, I feel like Furiosa should... I should be more excited for Furiosa, but here we are. I'll, I guess here's the thing. If I'm watching a movie, you know, even with a the movie, there's like, wait, you know, it's like, hey, nudity, violent, blah, blah. There's a little bit of warning. You know, if like, okay, and you give me, like, with imaginary, I forget what it was. It was something like a kid, like, I think a kid, like, pressing a nail into their hand. It was something where it's like, they didn't show anything, but at the same time, like, y'all. I'm watching like a tutorial on how to like beat a Tomb Raider level. Don't force me to watch that. Like, like it just felt like very out of place where it's like, haha. And it's like, oh, come on, y'all. Of course, the problem with those ads too, because they're like, yeah, we don't care as long as people are watching them. Ugh, they're terrible. Now, wait, Torsten, did you ever watch uh, Itchy the Killer? Because that's one, like, I don't know if it's as terrible as, like, the problem is I've heard X amount about that movie to the point where I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'm watching this. Because, yeah, like, Tokyo Gore Police, that still scars me where I'm like, never again, never again. Yeah, and like I said, because it wasn't, like, I've seen worse imagery. It was the fact that I was, like, it was a little kid, and I'm, like, 
And like I said, it was just the jarring. You know what it felt like? It's like, man, I'm going to get a cookie. And it felt like Mike Tyson punched me out of nowhere. It's like, I did not agree to Mike Tyson a punching. <laughs> Let me know when I'm in a ring with Mike Tyson before you throw that at me. Because, yeah, and it's like, I don't want things to be censored. It's just, I'm not even blaming, like, the movie. It's more like these YouTube ads where it's like, God, this is just terrible. And you all know it's terrible. Come on, potato gross. I like how, I don't know why, but Pinterest is like, because I'm looking up uh, like potato roots for this imagery. Because I, you know, I don't know what roots. Roots are like simple enough where I don't know. And it's like, I need to look this up because I will definitely screw this up. Um, Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Some some filmmakers love to go for shock and awe, and I can't talk too much because, like, the artist in uh, Bang was not. <laughs> and I got a character who has no flesh on, doing unnameable things to humans. Mm. Oof. No, no. There's a like. I'll be honest, y'all, because I'm like, oh, I'm excited about the future with Bang, you know, blah blah blah. Then there are times I'm like, how am I going to top this BS? Like, the artist, I'm like, that's going to be hard to top. Um, even just like laying out this volume two, I'm like, yeah, chapter six, still haven't topped that. <laughs> That's gross. Ah, uh, Oscars. Like I said, though, I will say this. I don't like that the Oscars are only... It feels like dramatic or based on truth. So, like... There's a certain vibe the Oscar goes for. And I'm like, you know, because like, I guess I feel like Endgame should have been best nominated for best picture because it's like that, you know, especially Infinity, or Infinity Wars, because it's like, you know, it's like people are going to be talking about that movie a lot longer than the other ones. I can't even mention what else was nominated that year. And I'm not saying, like, oh, it's drama equals bad. But, you know, it's like a little bit of variety, a little bit of spice. Because I, I jokingly, because I know most people don't like it, but it's like I did love John Wick 4. And it's like I say that's my movie of the year because I'm like I bought the movie. I saw it in theaters and I bought the movie. Godzilla minus one, though. Oof. Why isn't that out on Blu-ray yet? I'm going to blame James. Nothing yet. Oh, my gosh. You can buy an $85 Godzilla figure. Yeah, nothing on minus one yet. I will say they definitely, yeah, when they got called out on their BS, 
like they definitely were like, "Ooh, we got to change or we're going to die." And it's like, "Yep." Um Well, and it's also I feel like my other thing with the Oscars cuz some of the categories, it's like there's some categories they care about, some that makes sense, but there's some it's like you just you just made this here cuz you didn't want cuz like Beauty and the Beast was up for uh, best picture and then afterwards the next year they introduced best animation and it's like you mother it's like come on don't do that especially and nothing against omar friend but boss baby the fact that that was nominated for an oscar i'm like yeah i can't get past that like part of me is like i know it's dumb but it's like that wasn't like that was the bar for is this good enough to be an Oscar? You know, it's like, this is worth recognition. It's like boss baby. Okay, I hope Godzilla minus one comes to the Blu-ray. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Like, if you need some weird imagery, potato gross are definitely up there. Okay, I know what. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's hard because it's like, what is the best? Because it's like, do you rate it by? And the problem with art is it's hard to critique it because, like, you know, some people, Barbie was the best movie that came out in a decade. Um, uh, the famous angry German actor said the first 30 minutes was a pure hell. He never thought he would experience again. Like, you know, it's, that's a hard thing with art. <sighs> Down to two, so I'm guessing it's Torsten and James. Might wrap this up in 16 minutes. Do a more shorter, more shorter stream, not the typical five hour. Ugh. Ow. Oscar. Because here's the other thing I always find hilarious because people always put emphasis on like best lead. This side gets a little bit of love. Uh, best picture and director. But then it's like some of the other categories like costume, sound, uh, music I'm always surprised by because I'm like, oh yeah. Like a lot of movies are like, yeah, the movie wasn't good enough. But the song is, it's like, come on, you cowards. All right, so I got that, got that.
Yeah, I won't lie. At this stage, it's like there's a certain amount of shorthand just to be like, yeah, let's make sure everything kind of works this way. Yeah, this is uh, page nine of issue um, 19. I need to, I think I need to do my just random, like, here's where I'm at so far. Yeah, I got the bugs. So yeah, that was a previous page. And that was, I think that was, I streamed a little bit of this page. Not gonna lie, like these root, these two panels, I took the least amount of time, but they were some of the most fun because it was just like, how do you capture that feeling? Yeah, because I need, oh, I need to start doing the, um, yeah, tapas and webtoons. Because part of me is like, okay. I guess I need to throw this on Patreon as well. Because, like, okay, with Patreon, it's like, you know, you all pay me. So it's like, yeah, no problem. Here's PDFs. Here are the pages. Part of me with Tapas and Webtoons, it's like, well, wait a minute. How much am I going to put up here? And it's it's not like I need to see, like, instant money. It's not like I'm like, ah, give me the money. But it's this weird, I'm like, okay, I don't know how many people are, re like, how many fans this is generating to help me. Or is it just like, am I adding content to your guys' site to boast to your numbers? I'm also a little bit more wary about putting stuff up nowadays. Because, like, especially after Spotify's whole, I don't know if you all saw this, but they did this thing where it's like, oh, if you upload an uh, audiobook to us, we own all the rights, no questions asked. And it's like, what the hell? So it's getting a little crazy out there with the greed. Because I think I think chapter 20 is going to be a little less work than the last few chapters. So I think I think it's I should start getting back to the place where I can start cranking these out a little faster. Because like I could have been a lot which I'm fine with. I could have been a lot further done if I wasn't chatting with y'all, which I'm not saying is a bad thing. Um, so I'm not trying, like, don't take that as negative. I'm just saying, like, yeah, when it's, when you're not drawing 10,000 things, it's like, oh my gosh, it's easier. Yeah, and I feel like with Spot, I never had a Spotify because I remember, like, everyone was excited for Spotify because I had Pandora. I was like, yeah, I'm fine with this. And I didn't want to spend money. Cause I, I guess it's weird. I don't mind ads as much, and I grew up with the radio, so it's like okay, this digital version of what I want to listen to, with a couple ads, yeah, that's no problem. But yeah, Spotify, I feel like they just get worse and worse, and it's like yeesh. Here's a random question for y'all. Don't talk to Josh. <laughs> Where did that come from, James? Ugh. Um. So a pal of mine, she's working on a movie. I can't say what. You know, I don't want to get into that. But they have chickens at their base camp, like just random chickens. It's like, okay, cool. She called the rooster a chicken, and I'm like, I mean, technically yes, but what? <laughs> like that's a rooster. It's not a chicken. It's you know, like, yeah, sheep and a ram are the same species, but as a society, we agree these are two different words. Oh, I know what I should do. Uh -huh.
Yeah, I think there's enough. I think that's kind of... It's not my best layout, but I think that works. No, but yeah, like a hen... Yeah, because I guess what it is is a hen is a chicken. It's just a rooster. Usually when... Well, and it's like... Because she had a classic video of the rooster cocking, you know, crowing in, at 6 a.m. And it's like, well, yeah, it's a rooster. It's not a chicken. I don't know, Torsten. You're smarter than us. Is that how many languages you speak? 38? The joys of the joys of streaming by yourself where you're like, let me talk to you about calling a chicken a rooster a chicken. Oh. Uh oh uh, oh. Uh. But yeah, I'm excited. Man, this month there's a lot of books coming out. Especially 2.2. I want to know what the point 2 is. Wait a minute. I thought you were pretty good at like you don't know French. Guy, yeah, I'm finding the German school system lacking. What, you just learned German and English? What is this? I thought you got to love how I don't I only speak one language and I'm over here being like Yeah, but is your Espanol better than Omar's? Uh, I do feel like, and I don't speak, um, ah, uh, I don't speak any, I wish I spoke Spanish, honestly. Especially, I wish I read Spanish for the manga. But I feel like, um, there's like, like every version of like depending on the country and like Spanish is slightly different. So I remember Omar talking about like, you know, his like Peruvian like like stuff that it's like no, this is how we say it in Peru where it's like the rest of the world says it this way. So I feel like I don't know. I feel like Spanish is this weird. Like no one's like fully agreed on what Spanish is yet, and they're like, yeah, let's do it. You know, like we'll do it this way, you do it that way. Torsen, as a mod of the uh, NMC Discord, you should know we can never say uh, Omar's fluent because that would give him too much credit. Because technically, Jess taught him Spanish and <laughs> he taught him English. Oh. Uh, I will say this. God bless racist neighbors. They always make some of the best jokes. My friends had one. It was, um... Okay, okay, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Torsen, how dare you? There's only one country that speaks proper English. And it's, it is, a, you know what? Let's make this official. Okay. James, you can clip this. There's only one country that speaks proper English, and it's the Americans. It's the U.S. Why? Because, so, there's, it all started in the U.K., the Great Britain, and England. Uh, we, the, you know, they took over the world, had all these colonies, and then they also had the little prison kind of state in Australia, right? So, what happened was, us over here in the colonies, we are still speaking correct English. Over in Britain, the Queen, I think it was like Elizabeth II. I forget, it was one of the Elizabeths, was like, English is such a disgusting language. We need something better. We need we need a more romantic language. So all of a sudden they start copying from the Italians in uh Spain. Hence how you get the certain English accent as we know it. So 
The only country you can hear Shakespeare done properly is USA, 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 USA. And like, and here's the thing, because uh, you got the proper English accent. Then you got the Cockney that everyone knows about, because it was a bunch of the like fishmonger and poor people trying to act uh, like nobles and being, you know, more profound. And then you get X amount of people get shipped out to Australia or going to Australia. That's how. So, yeah, the only proper English is USA. I will not accept this. Ooh, but the British, nah. I think that was the first decline of the British Empire was them uh, slacking off on that. Oh, man. That, yeah, I learned that fact because I had to take... I took... So you had to take X amount of like English um, electives in high school. And I really wanted to take, uh, cause I'm like, ah, oh, Shakespeare should be fun. Let's take Shakespeare. The problem was there was a romantic Shakespeare, which I wanted to take like uh, Midsummer Night's Dream, you know, all those fun things. Then there was the histories and I took the history. So I got Richard the third, Richard the fourth. That was okay. Richard the fifth was good, but yeah, Richard the third. Do not recommend Richard the Third. That, that's just a painful story. And I'm sorry, but yeah, Bill Shakespeare wrote it. Um, this is what you do: you make that clip, put it in the book club, and tag uh, Hannah via the book club. That way, she'll see it. <laughs> yeah england it's crazy how much of the world was like shaped by britain and then like they have really they have really fallen uh granted with the whole world war ii because it's like yeah we'll help you but you got to give up all your territories it's like well wait a mm. And I'm not, I'm not a fan of the royals, especially being American. It seems kind of weird. But the fact that uh, the king right now has cancer, I'm like, man, <laughs> your mother screwed you over so bad. Oof. Uh, the royals. But man, yeah, because it's like, I know like Spain, man, Spain has some uh, gorgeous collections I wish I could get for comics, especially like Torpedo, uh, like Black Sad. Oh, oh, they have some great books. So it's like, I took three years of French, did me like little to no good. All I know is how to say je ne sais pas, which is I don't know in French. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm yawning so much. You can tell something. <laughs> really? You know what, Bar? Let's find out. Okay, Barb, this was created January 2020, 
So in four years, in four years, if you do more than, let's do the math. So you got four years to do 432 pages, Bar. So if you can do in four years more than 432 pages, then you have beaten me and you can talk smack. Until then, shut up. That is a true thing, Torson. I do talk a lot. What are you doing up? It's like two in the morning. Man, I would be impressed if you drew a single page. Wait, Bar, do you know who uh, Hugh Hefner is? Also, I'm well aware it's your Saturday, but you're also old and decrepit. So I figured you'd be asleep because you're old and decrepit. Huh. Didn't think you knew who Hugh Hefner was. <laughs> Bar, you're a child. Like, I'm surprised you're illegally allowed to drive or do anything. Like, I know 12-year-olds I trust more than you. Hell, I have never met Omar's kids, and I already can tell them, like, yeah, they're more trustworthy than Barr. Where the hell's the birds? Oh, there you are. Probably they live in Tennessee. Come on, Bar. Also, I don't assume you don't know anything because I'm xenophobic. I assume you don't know anything because you're young and inexperienced in life. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. And I'm so No, damn it. God, like the perfect reference for this damn bird. Oh, I guess I can do this. Damn it. I found like the perfect reference and it goes, instead of just being a photo, it's like, here's a video. It's like, no, no, no. Just give me the photo. I don't care about the video part. Just give me this bird. <laughs> tell me <laughs> Dorson Barr tell me you've never been to the Midwest without saying you've never been to the Midwest especially like to get a gun in the US is a lot easier than I guarantee you getting a gun here is easier than getting like yeah, food in some places <laughs>
Where is that image? That thing's a lot bigger. Okay. Oh, that's true. Yep. That's actually yeah, that's actually spot on. It's easier <laughs> to treat a bullet wound. Yeah, that's. Uh. Look, we're built on a healthy level of racism, and we don't want to get rid of. We rather die a painful death than get rid of racism. Ugh. I'll say this. Uh, I don't know. It's a weird place, and we're definitely in a weird growing pain kind of thing. I'm hoping, keep hoping that tomorrow will be better. So time will tell. Also, I love bar that's like, yeah, American culture is terrible. Americans, blah, 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 blah. At the same time, Amer bar, man, when are y'all going to start making more comics for me? Because I love American comics. I won't read anything other than American comics. America. Yeah, probably. Hmm. You know who's got the worst dark secrets? Antarctica. Who knows what's hiding under that ice? Now, I do know, like, what's interesting, I do know, like, what's going on uh, in the U.S. I don't know, like, some of the stuff is not just a U.S. thing. Like, it's a global issue. Because, you know, what's crazy is, um, like, housing in Canada is worse than the U.S., which is shocking. But they never had the 08 crashes uh, the U.S. did. So all of a sudden, a lot of their economics are wrapped up in this system where it's like, oof. Bar, here's the problem. You're stating clear facts, but me and you fight like cats and dogs. So I'm going to take any opportunity I can to hit you over the head with it. Also, you know, maybe read some European and manga, some uh, other countries, try some things out. Stop being so xenophobic. Actually. <laughs> she is asleep. It is her nap time, so I do not want to bug her. She's cute, too, because she's curled up on the couch in a shrimp kind of position. Yeah, I can't believe we're going on 16 years. Okay, that's weird. I shouldn't be surprised, but it's weird that European comics are harder to get than American. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I guess that's true because it's like, God, there's a couple books I own that are in French. Like, I can't read them, but man, they're gorgeous. Hey, let me go get one of those books. Hey, so a Belladon. Uh, this book, man, like it takes place French Revolution, Musketeers. I need to get vol like it's kind of weird. Probably always like, oh, I need to get volume one, even though I can't read it, but it is gorgeous. Because it's this nice, like, cartoony um, style to it. But what's great is, like, it's drawn to a level of detail where it's like, this world feels real because it's like, yeah, it's cartoony. But, like, every part of the world, you know, it's like, it's like they do, like, France. The first one, man, has, like, some gorgeous shots of, like, uh, Notre Dame. Yeah, it's like, here's her training around the world. And it's one of these books, like, man, I wish this got translated in English, because it's like, no idea who she is, but she, I mean, look at that. Look, like, catches the sword in the shackles. In the shackles. Like, that is just bad ass. Gorgeous colors. And technically, yeah, you can use like Google Translate. I mean, look at that. That is just some great pages. Oh, bar a thousand percent. I got I got this like just to look at and like, especially because I got these during college and I was like. Oh man, there's a lot of lessons to be you learned here. Especially too, because it's like, yeah, I can't read it, but it's like, okay, let me actually let me look at it and see what it's doing for the uh storytelling, what I can take away from that. Whew. Because I got one, I got two volumes of that. I mean, look at like that. Oof. <laughs> yeah i know that james like i said i could do that now i got these back when that technology wasn't around i thought this was volume oh, it is volume three but yeah i mean look at look at that look at this bullshit look at that that is Like I said, here's a strong female protagonist. God, this book, though, man. I forgot about this. Like, her fighting a tiger in India? Oof. Yeah, this edition, and this came out, at least I don't know when this edition came out, but the book was, like, the original comic was made in 2006. Mm. I was so hoping that they would translate that over to English. You even recognize...
Bar one, I'm assuming everyone who's not American can read multiple languages. Two, I'm yelling at you because I'm like, you need to try new things. And then there's bar. No, I just want to try Marvel and DC. Need to yell at some of our French. I'm going to take a photo of that and yell at some of our French ones. <laughs> Just can't even read English. So, fun fact, Bar's character falls into a black hole and is never seen again. Ever. I want to remember what I draw here because, man, like I got the loosest of impressions. Here's the thing, Bar. You could read 20 different languages. You don't read more variety than me, and we all know it. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Read something that isn't. Marvel or DC. Because I can probably, like, let's see. You haven't finished Madman. You did enjoy Lady Killers. Uh, what other indie books is on your shelf? <laughs> uh, one, you were closer with the 70s, but you know. Eh, Saga. Oh, I feel like I'm like the only one who wasn't a big fan of Saga. Like I can see why people enjoy it, but it's just for me, it's like, eh. Ah, that's a jazz book. Yeah, I mentioned Lady Killer. Like I said, all bar reads is Marvel. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, because I'm going to read Fantastic Four, but then I got a uh, Fear Agent up bad after that man everyone's been praising fear agent never read echo land once in future i keep meaning to read that one james add once in future to one of the book clubs was that in a book club Carbon and silicone. You had the tea dragon society? I oh, one I'm actually shocked by. Sarah, I need to read Strangers in Paradise. I'm just glad we can all agree, though, that according to the chat, Barr doesn't read enough. <laughs> yeah, I've never read a lock and key either. Stump never read Stumptown. Mm. Wait a minute, which version of... Nah, it can't be that. Wait a minute, which version of Skyward? That can't be the one I'm thinking of.
No way that's the one. Ah, okay. Yep, 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 yep. Is that the one from uh, Joe Hen uh, Henderson? So a pal of mine, oh my gosh. What was Jeremy's last name? Jeremy Dale. Oh, man. So a pal of mine, um, God, this one's a little rough. Uh, he just got his, he was working on a comic called Skyward that was through um, Action Lab, oh, that company. Um, I'm not even joking. Like, one of the nicest dudes you ever met. Like, God, just, he never, like, broke big into the industry but everyone who knew him like just loved him like cons were always better like just i need to post some of his art um all of a sudden one day like he was a little heavier set but one day like i'm not even joking he took a step and just like something kind of exploded in his brain or something and he died like he left the um he was i think he was like 35 or something he had a wife like she's luckily remarried and like she's doing better but it's just crazy because all of a sudden it's just like I said, something went on. Like, I don't even still know the cause of death. So, yeah, I always get a little upset because I get it. It's like, because whenever I hear Skyward, I'm like, ah, it's that, but like it was just taking off. Because it's the kind of thing, like, if he had a couple more years, I think, like, I wouldn't be surprised if that book, like, ended up at an image or something. But man, oof, that one's rough. But anyway, long story short, Barr only reads the big two, and not much Marvel, just mainly Harley. God, I miss Jeremy. That was, man. That's a crazy thing, man. Just, you never know when it's going to end. <laughs> See, Torsten, we got you to do some weekend plans. Oh, I think most people are going to ignore it, but um, that paper movie tonight drops. Um, Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, what is that called? Um, Shoot. Um, I posted it on the Discord, but yeah, that um yeah, gruff, 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 gruff. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a short, but man, like that one looks amazing. Like, oh, I'm really hoping there's a level of craft. <sighs> Hi, Brett. Look, I read like I actually do read some novels, not a lot, but it's like I read novels, and if I do, I do audiobooks. I don't know, the whole like Read a book without pictures. It's like, yeah, I've heard, I have too many friends that do that. <laughs> I have so many friends who are like, read, you know, and then I ask them what they're reading, and it's always like the most boring thing. It's like, okay. Hey, Bar, how about you read the uh, comic your friend not only put you in, but worked X amount of years to create? 
Hey, man. Yeah, I just need to get going soon. I can only bicker with Bar for so long. Because I think right now it's just me, James, and Bar. <laughs> I got Hoopla for that. Bar, do you know how much like pointless comics I'm buying this month? I don't have that kind of money. And going to Alaska next month. How do I want to do this? That actually works. Does that work? That works. Yeah, man, James, you live in such the boonies. Because, like, what's the closest, like, Books a Million or Barnes & Noble to you? Like, an hour? You know, honestly, sometimes I have an easier time reading. My problem with reading, like, physical books, like, I am such a night owl, but it's like, all of a sudden, it'll, like, it will lull me to sleep, and it's like, oh, I'm having the hardest time staying awake. And yes, yes, I know. Older than dirt, I'm ancient, blah, blah, blah. Oui. Because it leads with digital. It's like, oh, hard to fall asleep when I got this bright screen in front of me. Nothing like drawing a cart. Woof. And the crazy thing is, like, it's fun to, like, stroll through a Barnes novel, and it's like, because I bought, like, uh, last book I bought was My Dress Up Darling, but it's, like, price-wise, it's like, I can't even be like, yeah, you need to go to a Barnes & Noble. It's like, man, it's not cheap. Hmm. I wonder if it's because honestly, I get bored at bookstores. Like, I can look through stuff, but it's like I'm not. I don't know because even like the comic books, like comic section, I just get to a point where I'm like, eh, I've seen everything. Because mm. I can make a decision like within, I don't know, X amount. Of course, the other problem, um, and I blame YouTube for this. All my local, like, um, used bookstores, like, they have been kind of cleaned out. I need to go check on a couple of them again. But especially after 2020, like, it felt like a lot of them were just, like, cleaned out where I'm like, man, there's, like, nothing here. Hmm. Yeah, because for me, it's like, I'll go to, well, I guess the other problem is, because it's like, I'll go to, like, uh, the graphic novels, the manga, the humor section, and I'll look around the store, but it's like, um, God, I'm in such a know of, like, what's coming out via comics and stuff, so it's like, oh, yeah, that's, you know, it's like, oh, yeah. Yeah, it works. Yeah. Um, yeah, because like I said, if it's a prose book, I'd rather get the audio version because um, usually I can listen to it while I'm drawing. But, you know, I'm rambling on here. So let's look up. Uh, 
Where are you? Yeager. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but like I like yes, things are. I'm well aware how bookstores work, especially since I used to work at Barnes Noble. But it's like I'm not interested in every genre. Hmm. Yeah, because I I think like because I have a love of comics, but it's like I think you genuinely have a pure love of books. I'm like, I, I, I don't have that love, so it's like, yeah. Because I think for me it's like it's more, I have more of a love of like drawing and creating. what's in the what's typically in the english section i'm kind of curious about this like is it a lot of because i can see like a lot of like bad celebrity like written books um God, i'm trying to think the english <laughs> You know, now that I think about it, because like you can get books in Spanish and stuff. Thank you, thank you, James. Thank you know what? Thank you, James. I could see that. Yeah, it's kind of hard because part of me is like, eh, I shouldn't just buy stuff uh, online, you know, all that. But at the same time, it's like, man, it's hard to beat those prices. Hey, wait a minute. Because I think we've talked about this with bar but barn james who were your uh childhood like or anyone in the chat who was your childhood crush when i say childhood i mean like innocent like kid like when you're still like a sweet innocent kid um it's like i named a couple of mine but i'm curious what everyone's was But man, this page came out all right. I also don't know if anyone really cares, but the other thing I like about working digitally, I like having the layers where it's like, cool, let me do all the like finished pencil. You know, here's my rough pencils. Especially when stuff like this, where it's like, oh, I forget how this character looks. I just turn off everything else so I can get back to the original drawing of that character. Oh. James, don't give me that. That's all you do is remember names and dates. How can I remember all the names? As if you don't have, like, just go to your spreadsheet of, like, original crushes.
Because, like, one of mine was uh, Sher- Sarah Michelle Giller was, like, one of my first, like, uh, but Clarissa Explains It All, that actress. Yeah, Scooby-Doo uh, Ghoul School, that little vampire. Man, I wanted to be a vampire so badly. Just the idea of, like, staying up all night. There were just so many things about that that just seemed so cool to me. Like, I don't, it always felt like a Victorian, like, you know, it's like, oh, I'd be roaming the swamp, like, in a nice, like, kept swamp at night. I don't know. Where it's like, there was a certain dream about it where I'm like, that's not reality. <laughs> Kristen, I did not know this person. Smallville, gotcha. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Yeah, because I feel like, yeah, it's like a certain TV show around when you were a little kid and stuff. Don Lenny. Don, wait a minute. I like how I typed in Don, Lemmy, Gabby, and the first thing I get is feet. I'm like, nope. Yeah, this checks out. Okay. For a hot second there, I thought this was going to be a dude, and I'm like, I do not accept this reality where Barr had a crush on a dude. Hey, don't blame me that Google's like feet. Oh, goodbye. I thought you were literally going, goodbye. <laughs> I didn't realize that was, this is how you pronounce it. I literally read that as goodbye. I'm like, don't blame me. <laughs> so, Bar, because I'm not up to the Israeli um, pop culture, was there like a certain TV show or was it a movie or is it just kind of like, Osmosis, where it's like you just saw them, or like like in an ad or something, you're like, oh man. Hey, that's not a bad non-human hand. Yeah, they all, like, I guarantee you they all were, because um, I'm going to have to send you some clips of, like, Calissa Explains It All. <laughs> God, that show was so cool when I came out. Back in the good old days. That was back when we used to kick cams for fun. The eight. The island. You know, there's something comforting that even like every culture has just like terrible name, like generic names for shows like The Island, where it's like there's gotta be like a hundred shows called The Island. Uh Um, just a little FYI, or a little, uh, pro tip, if you were, if you were going to design a character, maybe don't design a character with a bunch of unique weapons around their belt at all times, because, you know, it's a pain. Do, do, do. Hey, we got a peach. So I think what I'll do...
Yeah. I feel like a lot. I don't know. I do feel like something weird happened where. Um, I'm going to take a break from this. So I think I'm going to be wrapping up ye stream, guys. So what I'll do is let me do this. Ugh, I'm getting tired. Yep. Um, so I'll do it this way. Whew. I do feel like a lot of shows, like not like even in America, a lot of kids shows went from like and like ranted because I can even look at like older shows where I'm like, okay, yeah, that was like compelling or something. Like they weren't watering it down. Whereas yeah, like something like like the mid two thousands, like two thousand tens, they really felt like we got to think of the children, and it's like uh, everything got kind of watered down. Sounds like a standard YA kind of thing. Because we had um, Ali Mack, girl got hit with chemicals and got random powers. Yeah, you. I almost have dollars to donuts. Like, kid, you would have loved that. Like, I feel like you're too cynical now to admit you would have liked it, but kid, you would have loved that show with Ali Mack. Um, Pete and Pete, man, that was a great. That show was so random enough. It's not like you couldn't remake that show. That show was amazing. Then we had all, you know, are you scared of the dark? Nah, they age, some of those age well, some of those age poorly. Ne yeah, ugh, the next mutation. No one talks about that, James. Um, yeah, because we did have TMNT. Had the X-Men, Spider-Man, Batman. Beyond. Ooh, that was such a good show. I know Barr's not a big DC fan, but man, Batman Beyond. The next man, wait. Ugh. James, did you ever watch uh, Mighty Max? piece of plastic's coming off this thing. Yeah. You never watch Mighty Max? Oh, man. Oh, man. Nah. This explains a lot. Ah. This show was probably the last time In the eight, a scientist takes a group of eight kids to a secret project called the Eight. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had that with Thundercats. Yeah, there's some of these plots where you're like, <laughs> like, we'll call them the Eight. It's like, is that the uh, real thing or a working title? Yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Mighty Max, like they invented the toys first and then they're like, well, you should make a cartoon about it. And God, this cartoon was fun. Um, this is so nineties, but I love it. Um, so the kid finds this magical hat, kid named Max, the hat opens up different portals to different like worlds. Hence how you got, like, these different toys. Man, I had that toy. But these were, like, poly pockets where you open them up and there was, like, a little zone inside. That snake one, man, used to creep me out. But, yeah, this was a ton of fun. This show was great. Like, this show did not have to be as good as it is. But they're like, oh, if we're going to do this. Yeah, because, like, originally, yeah, here's, like, all the different versions of Max. But in the show, it's, like, he's got the red hair. Oh, man. And, yeah, I know Barr's going to make fun of me because it's, like, yeah, these toys were basic. Yeah, 
Yeah, there you go. Oh, wait, I don't even know if you're seeing this. Yep. Note to self. Entire, yeah. Yeah, look at these. Look at these toys. These things are basic. Also, um, nothing like reliving youth. Yeah, I had this one. <laughs> I think I had that one too. These were great. They're like little Godzilla figures. You could destroy stuff. Ah, oh, these were great. Wish I still had these. I don't. You know what it is? I don't even. I don't even want to have them. I just would love to like, just be able to play with this thing for another like five minutes. Ugh. <laughs> Bit shapes in their holes that <laughs> get me busy. It really, it really was dumb. Where you're like, hold this went like this, and it makes like this. What? Oh my gosh. <laughs> You can honestly see you just like right like this should go in like this and it's like just turn it sideways. No. Oh man. And I feel like that's like I said, I feel like it's sucky because it's like I don't see those and like I don't want to buy them, but I don't see those kind of toys anymore. Maybe they lost their luster, but it's like they were cool little because it's like they look cool. Like from a collector standpoint, they still would look cool on the shelf, but then it's like, yeah, you got a whole little world in there, and it's like, yeah, and it's like they're basic, but it's like, yeah, it's a lot of imagination there. I don't know, man. They were fun. I'm having too much fun with that. Oh, yeah, they were, yeah, because Polly Pockets, I think they, because what's weird is when I typed in Godzilla, it came up Polly Pockets, because Polly Pockets were first, which they were brilliant, because it was made back when, like, the toys were gender separated. But Polly Pockets, yeah, Polly Pockets were like, hey, here's a little, it was basically like, what if we made a dollhouse into a compact? And then someone went, well, what if we did this for the boys? She's not wrong. <laughs> but like I said, it's just, a, I don't know, it's a shame because it's like, you can do it nowadays. Hell, like, bring back some of those Godzilla ones. They're still making Godzilla. Because, man, like, oh, it's going to sound weird because the movie wasn't that way. I bet you a Godzilla minus one one, like in the water and stuff, that would sell. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like you could do... Yeah, like if you had the island on the top pad and then like the bottom half's the ocean with the ship. Uh, companies these days. What can I say? I don't know. Like I said, it does feel like with kids... Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I feel like... And I get it like smartphone, you know, because I mean, I'm on my phone a bunch too. But there is something that's like, well, we we're talking about with physical books, but even like tactile toys. Yeah, because I wonder, like, kind of want to sound like the oldest of men. Um, I wonder what, like, how kids' imaginations are nowadays. Because it's like, I can't imagine them playing. I mean, maybe it's universal, like stuff with a stick. Maybe it's so ingrained with us. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But it's like, I'm not saying like, I don't see them like lack of imagination, but I wonder if like with their imagination, it's more like 
you know, it's like, oh, what if I combine like this imagery with this music or something like that, where it's not like as primitive as here, stick, play with rock, you know, I don't know. Cause I don't feel like, I'm not going to say like, kids, kids, these, you know, I'm not, no, but yeah, like I said, it does. Some of the stuff does suck where it's like, yeah, y'all didn't have cool. Y'all don't have as cool toys nowadays, which is like, that is lame. I need to invite a guest. <laughs> uh, well, I think I should call it because I oh, got four people. You know what? I can ramble for another nine minutes. Let's make this a three hour stream and talk and give Omar grief. Be like, I did it for three hours. Um, no, it's just, well, and I feel like a lot of toys nowadays, they're kind of more geared for adults because, like, now let's go down memory lane. Do, 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 do. Just keep the share screen on. Yep. Because, man, I love Legos, but, man, I mean, like, even just off the bat, it's like, woof. Yeah, okay. How, like, I know this is like, this is a re, ha, no, this is updated, but still like 75 bucks for, that's not a lot. Like that used to be like a 35, I get with inflation and stuff, but man, like 219, like that looks cool. Yeah, it looks just like the movie, but yeah, it's like, oof. Yeah, because I make enough to collect on like to collect uh, comics. I don't make enough to collect um, Legos. Oof. Because there should be discover. Ah, right, here we go. Um, come on, themes. Ah, uh, it's been a while since I've been here. Okay, like, these are cool, but man, those things, like, I don't know. It's like, you really have to be committed. Indiana Jones? 35, like, yeah, that used to be, like, because this, well, okay, 40, that's not too bad, but still. Oof. This is one. This, because I love Journey to the West. This is their version of Journey to the West. Like, they have Mecca and stuff. I don't need like I don't need this, but look at this. What a giant Wukong mech. It's weird because I feel like I feel like a lot of kids are like, oh, the toys aren't as cool as nowadays or as back in the days. Then it's also on the flip side, and I'm like, oh, they're cool, they're just hell of expensive. <laughs> Lincoln Logs? Oh, man. I feel bad for that. We, like, my toy stores, like, we always had to drive to them. But, man, I could only imagine, like, having one right next to my house. Oof. It's only 20 bucks. I do not need this. I won't lie, this was one of the smartest things they've done with uh, Journey. Like, because Journey of the West is open to the uh, it's public domain. But they're like, well, what if we made it futuristic? And this is like, God, this has to be like Series 3 now, because I'm not even recognizing any of this stuff. We got the dragon. Ah. Uh... Who wants to be a pal and buy this for me? 
This is so dumb. Uh, I won't lie though. Cranky Wukong. I want that. Like, I don't want these. I just want that. <laughs> oh, Legos. I still got five minutes left. Damn. Oh, I bet. I was about to say, it. yeah. I feel bad for the parents, especially being an adult now, because it's like, oof. Yeah, let's do this again. Let's let's go. Let's go back into the void. I'm having fun looking at Legos. Like I said, it's brilliant because they took like a um they took something that's a lot of people have done, then they're like, oh, what if we made our own futuristic thing? It's like brilliant. Uh, where were you? Merchandise, pickup, shop, come on. Sit by themes. Eh, what all the I'll just sit back. Monkey kid. It's also weird. Like, I get why we live in this day and age, but it's weird that, like, Sonic is Legos. It's like, it's weird there's video games of uh, Legos. Hell, Spider Man. Spider Man. Ah, this Daily Bugle one looks so cool. I have a friend who got this, but at the same time, I'm like, guy, you have to have like a dedicated spot for this thing. But man, ah, oh, dude, <laughs> that is so dumb, but so amazing. Ah, uh, you know, I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of glad they threw like because Black Cat's always a classic. Okay, I will say this though, this drives me nuts. Make their skin yellow. Just you know, make them like yellow. Just make them Legos. I don't mind. It's weird. I don't mind like uh, black people, but this weird pasty white. I always hate. I'm like, bleh. Um, but it makes it. I actually think this is a smart call because it's like I, I don't know if kids are gonna buy this, but it's like you know if you want to play as Peter or you want to play as her, it's like cool. Like I said, I don't know how my kids are buying this thing at like three hundred and fifty bucks a pop. Oof. Final battle. I also love, I mean, it makes sense to a certain extent, but you know, it's like 350 bucks and it's like, here's a Spider Man motorcycle. Miles. I'm surprised they don't have more miles. <laughs> oh, this is goofy. Because, yeah, I feel like, actually, wait, let me do this. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know if Tamagotchis are sold. I'm actually surprised those aren't just like an app. Uh, I'm like... I got like one of the first Spider-Man, but... um, Oof. Classics, no. Where would it be under... City, city was always god city was always cool because like eh, no, man okay these are kind of lame okay these are cool um but because like the thing i love about the city okay, that's kind of it's a bit much but you know if you have like a superhero one then a city one you're like cool god you can tell you can tell i'm getting old though because i'm like what is this bs that one's all right that was a cool idea I like the vehicles. Ooh, this one I like. Man, there's a lot of cityscape. <sighs> the ice cream. You know what's crazy? Um, where were they? Not city. Not for okay. This one to me though, this has always pissed me off, these friends. These aren't Lego. Like, that's not a Lego. And I, it's weird because it's like, I know this is aimed at girls, but it's like, and I'm not upset like with a, like, 
house, you know, if you want to compete with Barbie, we'll say, but it's like, I don't know, changing a Lego figure for like girls only. I'm like, that feels weird. Like that feels like we're taking a major step backwards instead of being like, oh yeah, this is for everyone. You know, like, nope. Where, where are those houses though? Okay, this line. I don't know what this line is called. Lego icons. These, like, these are clearly made for adults. No, I am not buying Legos. <laughs> Trust me. These things, I always thought were crazy, but, like, because I have a friend who collects these. And they come out with different, like, this is the museum. But, I mean, like, look at this. This is insane. Like the level of detail. Like the different rooms. Like, yeah, bookcases that remove. And no, no one on earth is just having this like, you know, it's like, no. All right, here we go. Honestly, you know what's funny? Everyone always asks like, oh, who would you cast in... Uh, bang the movie here's what i want i want bang legos i know i made it when i have like legos based off of a character of mine oh yeah i'm tenant oh i loved i grew up with legos because like Where was my castle? Come on. Because this is a little too old. I wasn't this old. What was that called? Because it was Lion... Oh, come on. Why is it... I made James a mod. Where's my castle? Okay, this one I know. Yeah. This one was, these were some of my Legos. This was my childhood. Like, I had this, oh my gosh, I played with that fort forever. The brilliant, the brilliant dumb thing about that fort, like, there's not a lot of Legos there, but it's like, yep, it worked. Oof. I still have my, I have my Legos at my parents' house. I really need to get them, like, up here, down here, because it's weird. Part of me is like, I don't have the room for them, but at the same time, like, I want to play with them. And look at, look at this basic bitch, but I loved it. This was my childhood. This guy's insane. I've seen this video. This guy's insane. Like, that guy never left his childhood. Um, oh. What were you called? You were Johnny. There we are. Johnny Thunder. Oh, this, I wish I had more of this. I still wish I had more of these. Yes, this is little kid me. Like, this is. Oh, yeah, the uh, uh, Play X or whatever, the like, uh, the stuff for little kids. Yeah, this was, ah, this was my dude, Johnny Thunder. Oh, my gosh. I still have some of these. I remember my friend had this, and I was so envious. Oh, man, I love the Johnny Thunder set. I, like, 
to this day, I wish they kind of remade some of these. You know, it's funny because James is like, oh, he's about to buy some Lego sets. You, they remake this. I would buy some. I would buy like this car. Because I don't have this. I have a version of the plane. Like, not this plane. I have... um. Johnny Thunder, though, man. Such a great... Yeah, because I think they tried to have him go around the world. Like, it didn't work. Like, Egypt was great. Then the rest of them were kind of like, eh. No, I definitely, because I had, like, I had some of the figures and stuff bar, but I definitely had, like, a bunch of random loose Legos. So I would build, like, different things. But I just remember, like, these were always fun because it's, like, especially if you get this minifigure, then it was, like, okay, let me build. Yeah, because I had, like, I had that one, the Dino one. I had that uh, cart. So it's, like, you know, you would keep, like, the the vehicle the same, but then you would build stuff around it. God, it's amazing what, like, a little bit of plastic, some coloring, and nostalgia. Johnny Thunder. Oh, let's, uh, let's dash my childhood, shall we? 30, but, oof, 119 just because it's in the box still. Ooh, 20, ooh, 25, that's tempting. Makari, that's really tempting. Well, that's probably why it's only 25. It doesn't even have Johnny Thunder. Oh, man. Also, just the name, Johnny Thunder. Shut up, James. <laughs> now, I honestly, Bar, I like giving you shit. I know our child is. Like I said, you're like the little, you're like a kid sister to me. So it's like, I love giving you shit. You can... Especially like just little... Oh, man. You know what's another one I like? And I need to end the stream because I need to do other things. But um, So, fun fact. Oh, where are you? Ha. Ah. Yeah, I'm not even joking. At my desk right now, I have one of the old uh, Lego Ninjas. <laughs> These are just kind of... The other one I have, I was so happy when I found this. Sun Wukong from um, Journey to the West. This is a newer one, but I love that. Come on. So, Tyler, here was a fun fact. I was like, ah, eh, I need to call. I like, you know, I've been going three hours and getting tired. Then it was, let me, well, let's kill some time. Let's go look at Legos. And here we are. Where were you? No, I want. Not the new Rago. Oh, come on. Yeah, there you are. Ugh. Woo! 500 bucks, man. <laughs> That's a problem with nostalgia because it's like, ah, I would love to pick this up. Then you see the price, you're like, I'm good. Oh my gosh, I had. Yo, just open it up. Thank you. I had this one. I think, like, that's where this ninja came from. How much was this back in the day? Like, no way this was 200.
These were great. Ah, uh, this is one. This is one I always wanted. Oh my gosh, I won this as a kid. You know what's weird? Like, as an adult, I could afford this. I could buy this right now. Part of me doesn't want to because I love having that, like, want as a kid still where I'm like, ah. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Bar. <laughs> oh. Um, sorry, I'm like innocent child land. Read Bar's comment. I'm like, nope. Oh, what was another one? What was another set? A Wild West one, though. That was a great. I know we looked at the Wild West, but we didn't look at the bank. Where's no, where's my bank? There's my bank. Yep, bank and general store. Look at look at this dumb thing. The best was the safe would blow up. Oh man. Yeah, I have friends like honestly, I have friends. I'm like, I don't know how you are doing it with children because it's like I'm having a hard time supporting me. <laughs> the stupid Lego horses. Like, they're so great. Yep. I remember this. You put dynamite in there and it blew up. Oh, you coward. Let it blow up. If memory serves, the general store didn't have, like, because it was the bank. The bank had the blow-up thing and the stagecoach. I think the general store was pretty basic. Bar, I know you're joking, but the sad thing is, man, uh, they are bringing, like, they are bringing back child labor in America. It's like, yay. You know what I think it is, too? Oh man, I'm in the stream. Um, you guys make me a little teary eyed. I remember, man, I was so excited to get this. Like, I spent so many hours playing with this thing. There is something about it's hard because it's like, I think the other thing with it as a child, it's like there's the ignorance that it's like, I'll never get that again. And what I mean by that, not just like a Okay, like, I know how to drive now. Like, as a kid, I could sit in the back and, like, do whatever, you know, not pay attention because I didn't know. Now, as an adult, like, even if I'm not driving, it's like, you know, I pay attention to things. I'm like, oi. <laughs> now, like I said, I love Legos. Part If I had a bigger place, maybe, but it's like, you know, just between size and cash, I'm like, I'm good. I don't even know. I don't think I got rid of these, but I might have gotten rid of these. Oof. I kind of hope I didn't, but there's a good chance. That's a big thing, though, too, because I remember, like, saving up for a snowboard. Like, my parents helped me. They paid for half of it, but it's like, there is a feeling when you get to a certain age where you're able to buy your own thing, you know, work and buy your own thing. It's a big thing. God, I remember. Like Arado. God, I hope I kept these. I think I got rid of them, though. Ugh. Last thing, because I'm going to be wrapping this up. Um, 
If y'all want a good stream, though, I highly recommend her. I've been watching her of late, and she is a lot of fun. She is like this. She's German. No, she's Scandinavian. Grew up in Germany. Um, an amazing singing voice. But yeah, a lot of fun, especially because I've been watching the Tomb Raider. But she like not like the proest of gamers, but just fun. So I recommend her. Just L I Z Z. Ah, nostalgia. Actually, one last thing. I guess I got to have him like it makes sense. Oof. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't seen this in years. I'm not going to play the sound because, you know, 90s nostalgia. You know what's crazy? Like, Egypt to us has always been, like, just one... Oh, yeah, that's me in a nutshell. But, like, Egypt to American, you know, it's, like, this wondrous halfway around the world. Then I love how to Bards, like, that's my neighbors. That's literally right across, like, what, like, three hours away? Oh, man. Wait a minute. I, y'all, <laughs> wait, I'm, so you've been watching me watching stuff, I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't realize like this wasn't playing for y'all. <laughs> oh, I am a professional. God, this is crazy. Yeah, my friend had this one. This was, oh, I'm glad he got it because he didn't have a lot of like this. I think it was his only like big Lego set, but man, it was great. I don't know, Godzilla Paul Pocket? Eh, fine. Actually. Trying to relive my childhood, but, you know, Tyler's like, what is this? Yep. Yeah, I had this one. The rare? How is this rare? I had this thing as a kid. So, um, they made Polly Pockets, but of Godzilla. God, I can't believe this thing was rare. I, used to, I took this thing to Olive Garden. Ah, so basic. Alrighty. I think I did my due diligence. So yeah. Got a good... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, screw it up here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a professional. You can tell I do this professionally. This is how I make my money. Because I am a professional at doing this. But anyway, Tyler... Got the rough pencils in, so I will go through and do some finalized pencils. So I'm happy with the progress tonight, and I'm going to call it a, I need to go, too. So anyway, thanks, y'all. Um, 
I don't know what this is. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Me going down memory lane. But anyway, uh, thanks again. Have a great Friday, y'all. Yes, the show is over, James. The show is over. <laughs> Only James is like, you weren't expecting this. I gave you, I gave you three hours and twenty minutes, James. Three hours and twenty minutes. You enjoy those. Anyway, hi guys. Yes, in the stream.